Okay, some time ago, um, Paper Crafter 45 asked me to do a tutorial on the pages that were in my vintage album. And I have to apologise for the video of that album because I do repeat myself over and over again. It even drives me mad when I watch it. Um, so you have to excuse the repeating everything about 20 times but it was one of my first videos and uh, I hopefully don't do that so much now uh, anyway I'm going to show you how to do it I used the manila envelopes that were from ASDA that is the um, packaging and they are C4 size, which I measured, and they were 12 and 3 quarters by 9 inches. So any envelopes that sort of size will be fine. And the binding strip needs to be 3 inches by 7 inches. You need to score the envelope in the middle, uh, seal it up. So I'm not going to lick it because I hate licking it. I'm going to put some double sided tape on it <laughs> oh why do they make it so disgusting you think they could have if they can send man to the moon you think they could actually make an envelope that tasted nice so stick that down score it in the middle long ways and fold it in half that actually makes our page and then the binding strip, which I said was 7x3, we need to score down the middle. So we want to score that down at 1.5 inches. That's going to be our binding strip. We need to fold that in half. If you're going to stamp on it, stamp on it before you fold it. Stamp a design, which is what I did on my vintage album. and then fold it reinforce the crease as we normally do I normally make myself a binding template and then I keep them and then if I'm making another album and I want it quickly I can I don't have to keep measuring all the time so this one was seven inches it's one and three quarters wide and I've made a pencil mark from the edge half an inch up yeah half an inch up and then I've made a line down here on two intersections the first one is at one and three quarters and the next one down is five and a quarter and where those lines intersect I've punched a hole so you've got your half inch strip with the holes in okay so let's mark three and a half which is the center and then draw a line down that will give me the center line so I've now got a little pencil mark here which is the center and I can get my and punch a hole on that intersection again I look through the hole I can centre it there well now we've got our template made we can make a mark at half an inch there on not the uh, folded side the other side then what we can do is we can get our template and we're going to have it start it that half an inch up so we can just pop that on there just use the holes as a guide and then we know where they go and they can they'll be exactly the same on every binding strip then if you do that so pop the cropper dial in and center it on that hole and then punch just clear it and again center it you have your guideline so you can look through the hole and punch and then it will be the same for everyone so you can make your mark on your envelope at 
from the top, this is the folded side, this side, make a mark at one inch and a mark at eight inches. That tells you what, how to centre it. Stick your binding strip together and then put some glue on the three quarters of an inch because you made your little mark at three quarters of an inch so you know where that is and then we've got our little three quarters of an inch mark we know where it's got to go to on there and we can see the marks to center it that we made on the envelope so you can see that you've got your little mark there and you've got a little mark there, you know where it is, and marks on the envelope. And that's your binding strip on. You'll cover that with your pattern paper. So that goes over the top. You can mat this any way you want to. And then, and again, mat the front as well. So one thing I forgot to say was if you wanted it um, inked, you need to ink it before you put your binding strip on. Ink all around your edges of your envelope, right the way around and down this side crease. And then what I did, on some of them I made a pocket. I used, again, I was using the Tesco value envelopes at that time. And that's the uh, C6 envelope, which is, I'll tell you... It's four and a half by six and three eighths. So that's the size of the envelope. I use two of those, score one of them at one and a half inches down the short side and then fold it. And then what I did was stick the two flaps together. So you glue that flap stick that one on top like that and then glue this down glue up each one each side there and then fold it over glue it down three sides on there and then that will give you two nice big pockets that will fit exactly on those big envelopes some of the other pages I did with again the two C6 envelopes again connect the two flaps together put the two envelopes together and then fold down that right hand corner to the bottom and that gives you a little flap there and then I just some of them I just pop some glue on the top there and took the uh, and then add both sides or you can glue that in the middle here and across the top here and stick that down and then that gives you a pocket that way and if you want to again the three sides on the back and that gives you a pocket that way